Good day, eh? And good morning. This is George, and what we're going to do today is explain and demonstrate what a three-way stopcock, yes, three-way stopcock, what a three-way stopcock is and um, how, you, how you would use it in whatever application that you're intending to use it for. So let's grab the packaging. This is what a three-way stopcock is going to come in, packaging like this. And at the back of the packaging, it's going to tell you exactly that it's a three-way stopcock, a high flow, in this particular case, three-way stopcock. So when you want to use it, of course, if you need PPE on it this time, or if you're doing something sterile, make sure you're wearing the appropriate PPE. Grab the stopcock, open the packaging, and what you're going to find is a stopcock that's going to look something like this, or one that looks like that. Now, they're very similar, but there is a subtle difference between the stopcocks. If you look at this one, this one has a male and lure lock to it. This one has a male and non-lure lock, but slip style male end to it. So let's take a look at these stopcocks in a bit more detail. Now this one here that I'm holding on to, again, let's take a look. It's got three ports, and that's why they call it a three-way stopcock, is the three ports. Female port here with lure lock, female port here with lure lock, male end port right over here with lure lock. So all these ports have the potential of communicating with each other. So how do we know what's communicating with each? If we turn this around, you can kind of see, and I'll put this down here so it's easier to see, this tab here that we use to control the stopcock with says off. Whatever port that points to, that means that port is shut off or isolated from all the other ports. The ports that don't have the off tab pointing them are potentially on. How to, can you confirm that they're on? or communicating with each other, take a, look, take a look to see if these little small ports right over here, or sorry, these little alignment pieces that have the little blue on it, if it's pointing to the ports, it means those ports are in fact open. So in this configuration, the port down here that I'm holding onto is off, the male end right over here is open, this port right over here, this female end, is also open. So gas or liquids could go right through the stopcock in that fashion. If I wanted to have all three ports open, what would I do? You guessed it. Take this open port up here, sorry, the off port up there, place it in that configuration. Now I've got these little blue tabs pointing to every single port. That means all three ports are now open to each other and can communicate with each other, okay? So that's how a three-way stopcock works. Now, if we wanted to shut, isolate all of the ports from each other, what would we do? All you have to do is just simply take this off tab, move it 45 degrees like so. Now nothing's lining up with any ports, so that means that stopcock is in fact now closed. So this female, this female, and that male port right there, they don't communicate with each other. So nothing's open right now. Now what we use in respiratory therapy, when we're doing cough pressure checks, we like to use this style of three-way stopcock. Right? So it's got the two female lure lock ends, and then it also has the slip male end. Now, why do you, we use it in respiratory therapy? Well, we like it because this long slip male end is big enough to fit into the pilot balloon of the endotracheal tube. So if I grab this guy right over here, here's the pilot balloon for our endotracheal tube. That slips in there rather nicely and stay secured so we can open up the uh, channel that goes to the cuff of the, of the uh, endotracheal tube, right? That's why we like to use it. And there's a certain way that we use it as well. So if you're working in a hospital and you're using a, a three-way stopcock, hopefully you'll understand the basics of how it works. And if you need to isolate a certain channel, you can isolate that channel. For example, if I go like that, you now know this channel is isolated. These two can communicate with each other. So you can think about what you're going to do or what you need to do before you do it. All right. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know. Like or dislike it. Comments about future videos. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. Hope you have a great day. Hope you found this informative. Take care.